let's talk about this thing. All right, guys, so it's the end of the season, and I know a lot of you guys had questions about the snowmobile and how I liked it. So this video is going to be a complete in-depth, my overall thoughts and uh, review of this uh, Skidoo Expedition that I bought. So uh, if you haven't been following along, I picked this up this fall. I actually spring checked it last year, and I picked it up this year. It's my first brand new snowmobile I've ever owned and probably my last. I've grown up riding snowmobiles my whole life, as long as I could sit on one. You know, I'd sit between my dad's legs and hold on to the, to the uh, bars here and he'd drive me around when I was too little to actually drive it myself. But I've been riding snowmobiles my whole life. So I feel like I have quite a bit of experience driving a snowmobile and uh, can give a, a decent review on this of what I think. I bought this snowmobile basically for two reasons. And let me backtrack a little bit. The snowmobile I had before this, I actually had two. I had a trail-ish snowmobile it was a it was an arctic cat it was a 2012 arctic cat so newer-ish geometry setup 141 track and i had an older i could register it as an antique but it was a 96 uh panther that i used for ice fishing which uh, wasn't the most reliable sled that that i've ever used uh, especially when we start going out to some of these more remote places i was i just needed something a little bit more reliable and that sled really I got it mired a lot. I got it buried, pulling uh, my otter shack, pulling stuff, just getting stuck in slush and deep snow. Just didn't have the power or the track width to really keep it up on the snow. I wanted to basically get rid of both sleds, so I sold the Panther a couple years ago, and then I sold my, my trail sled, and I bought this to do both things, trail ride and ice fish with. This is pretty much in the configuration that I bought it, uh, besides the wrap and I just kind of have it set up the way I bought it. If you guys saw the initial video, I'll post a little clip here, what it looked like it was all black. Came with the seat, came with the uh, cargo box and the tall windshield. This is the Expedition SE model with the Turbo R. So it's not the standard turbo, which is what I was gonna actually get. When I was looking at these, I had planned on getting just the standard turbo. And as I'm watching the release video for the 2023s, they said that the newest update for these was the R, they're adding the Turbo R package. So naturally I had to get it. 180 horsepower, kind of ridiculous, but uh, we'll talk about more about that in a minute. This is technically a sport utility sled. So obviously if you're gonna be doing like 100% trail riding, probably not the sled you wanna buy. It's big, it's heavy got a big wide track on it and I knew that going into it. I knew it wasn't going to be perfect on the trails but uh, like I said I have a lot of experience driving snowmobiles and I can pretty much have fun on anything uh, especially with the Turbo R. I mean so if you're not familiar with the expeditions they have a articulating rear skid here which goes up which makes it good for going in reverse and not getting stuck. It's got a massive 20 inch wide track. Gives you a bunch of flotation and it also <clears throat> on the trail you have so much traction it's not even funny uh, i got this track with the uh the pre-studded uh ice ripper track which i highly recommend because uh my last few snowmobiles haven't had studs and i really for trail riding and especially ice fishing if there's not a lot of snow you really need that traction i guess i'll talk about how how it rides and then we'll kind of go over like the setup and stuff that i have my initial reaction to this sled when i first took it out i drove it out back here on a field this has a eco, normal, and sport mode. So I had it in normal mode going out to the field. We had just gotten snow, maybe a foot of snow. And I, of course I tore off across the field. I'm like, wow, this thing's got a lot of power. You can really feel the turbo kick in, um, really fun. But of course I really wanted to try out that sport mode. I flipped it in sport mode and uh, I kind of got a little worried because it had so much power that I was like, I really probably didn't need this. I mean, the skis were just in the air the whole time going across the field. And for ice fishing, obviously you don't need that much power. That's just ridiculous. You're hauling the gear and stuff. You just don't need all that power. So I was thinking, man, I, maybe I should have just got the standard turbo. Uh, but the difference was once I got it on the trail, I started using the sport mode quite a bit. Um, on the smaller twisty stuff, I usually leave it right in uh, normal mode. But when I get on like a rail bed or, you know, wider open trails where there's like maybe two passes that the groomer goes or like out on lakes zipping across fields, I have it in sport mode and it's so much fun. I'm so glad I got the Turbo R. Even though this is a utility sled, I still love having that power and be able to just lift the skis up whenever you want. You can be going 
like 40 miles an hour, 50 miles an hour, and just put it right to the handlebar and the skis will just come right off and it'll, it'll keep going. On the trail, I've had it, the speedometer seen like 92 and it had way more. I mean, it, it, when, you get, when you get on the throttle on this thing, you can just feel the turbo keep pulling and pulling and pulling. I ran out of trail before I could really top it out. Not that I really needed to once it was at 90, but the one thing I was worried about with this was that I do probably 50-50 ice fishing and trail riding. And I didn't want to sacrifice the trail riding capabilities, which is the one thing I was super, super worried about. But I can tell you guys right now that this thing drives better on the trail than probably any snowmobile I've ever ridden that I've owned anyways. You know, it's, it's obviously not going to be like a shorter tracked snowmobile. You know, it's not going to be as good in the short little twisty stuff, but this thing rides so smooth and you, you can't tell that it's a 20 inch wide track or that it's a big heavy four stroke. It's just effortless and it's so smooth. It's got the air ride adjustable suspension. This is the SE model. I pretty much leave that right on three all the time, unless I'm hauling a passenger, I'll bump it up to like four or five or from hauling a big load on the back ice fishing. It drives like a dream. It's like riding on a recliner. Um, as far as ice fishing wise, I mean, the thing is unstoppable. I haven't got it stuck at all. Um, I haven't even come close. I've gone through some, uh, some slush holes with it. Uh, when I am going across the lake, I do leave it in sport mode though, just in case I hit a big slush pocket, I can just punch it right to the handlebar and the thing's just phew, gone right through it. The thing is seriously an animal. Uh, if you do get it stuck, I imagine it's not gonna be all that fun, but I do carry a rope puller come along and like 50 or 100 feet of rope in the back here in case that does happen. You can see right here, <clears throat> I got my Arctic anchor for ice fishing, we get stuck on the ice. I actually spent some time on this doing a little bit of off trail riding, I guess you call it, uh, out breaking trails, zipping down some power lines, going out in some fields, and when we had some deep snow before any of the groomers went out, I kind of went out and did a little riding like that. And this thing is a ton of fun in the powder. You can still have a lot of fun with it. If you're not used to riding a snowmobile in deep snow, um, especially a four stroke like this with all the weights up front, it does seem to dive on the skis a little bit. So um, one of the things I did is I bought the Skidoo ski liners to make it a little bit wider. And I'm not even, I'm not 100% sure that I um, will keep those on actually. Um, it definitely gets the sled up on the snow faster and keeps it up there and keep, keeps it from diving as much. But uh, I think you do lose a little bit of maneuverability if you need to make a quick adjustment do like a carve or something to get out of a ditch or to turn a corner. Um, they kind of just stay up and, and float. So uh, I think they're better for if you're going to be hauling heavier loads going slower. Um, it'll keep your skis up and uh, allow you to not sink into the corners as much when you're going slower. I took one ride with it and noticed it kind of was pretty heavy in the front end, but I, I wasn't used to the sled yet either. But uh, after I put these on and started riding it a bunch, I haven't taken them off. I think next year if we get some snow, I'll take them off and try it and just see what I like better. But definitely if you're ice fishing and hauling stuff, I would recommend getting the ski liners uh, for the slower moving stuff. It just keeps the sled up on the snow more. And I also bought uh, Woody's Dooley's carbide. I think I got the six inch carbide and that made the, the sled handle so much better. Because it's such a heavy sled, it can be uh, maybe a little darty. Um, but with the dually carbides, it's like on rails, it's perfect. And uh, of course you get to dial in your suspension for your riding style and your weight and everything. I tend to ride a little bit aggressive on the trail, I would say. So I kind of crank mine up a little bit. Uh, one of the more noticeable things was the wrap that I put on here. This wrap is made by SCS Customs. I really just wanted something that uh, no one else was gonna have. There's a lot of black expeditions out there. So I wanted to spice it up just a little bit. And I got this kind of OD green wrap by them and I really like how it looks. Not a lot of pop, but enough to set it apart from everyone else. And I think it looks sick. So one of my favorite colors, so I had to get the green. One of the other things that we did was change the headlights on here. Let me show you what this looks like. got some LED headlights. When we're going across lakes early in the morning or coming off at night, I want a lot of light so I can see things. I kind of thought about buying the light bar that Skidoo makes, but uh, I decided to just try the LED replacement bulbs in the front and those 
are perfectly fine with me. They give off so much light. I did it myself. I think they're uh, SSI or SII Alpha something. I don't know. I'll leave them down in the description below. They weren't all that cheap, but uh, they're definitely a massive upgrade. I don't know why a snowmobile in 2023 isn't coming with uh, LED headlights, but whatever. You can replace them. It's pretty easy and it makes a huge difference. So I did that. I bought this with the tunnel scratchers which work really, really well. I like that you can go in reverse with them. I always hated the cable style scratchers. They just don't have the down pressure that these ones do. Um, but usually these style that mount to your uh, rail up here, you have to clip them onto your, onto your rail and they wear into it and destroy it. So this is a pretty good system that Skidoo has here. Um, I really like that. So I bought those. I also got the skid plate on here from the dealer added protection and I got the adventure plate which is actually for mounting the big bumper but I just wanted the extra protection I think it looks pretty cool um, because your radiator is right up in there and if you hit a stick or a beaver chew or something like that it's gonna go right through that plastic so we got some protection so one of the best things that I did was you take this seat off I actually have a video on all of this stuff that I've done. So I'm not going to go into too much detail with it because you can go and watch the video. But uh, this right here is just a bait box carrier. Um, I added this PVC tube here to hold my skimmer. So uh, when I want to go ice fishing, I don't need to bring a jet sled with me. Put my bait right in there. Scoop my bait out. I can fit my traps in here. The other thing we did was make an auger rack for the top of our box here. Got a video on that as well. So I don't need to tell you how I did it because there's a video on it and go watch it. I'll link them at the end in the end cards. Put our auger in there. And now we don't need to bring a jet sled or anything else. We get some rod holders over here on this side. That was one of the things I really wanted to do is make everything fit on the sled so I can just tear off of this thing and not worry about my jet sled or... One of the mods that we did to this big box also was adding the lights to it. And that was super important for me. That was the first thing that I did. Uh, I got a video on that as well. We cut this thing all up, but it looks like it's something that came with it. it I mean, it should come with it. It's a pretty sweet little mod. Got a little power cable that goes into our rear uh, seat grip warmers. Um, we just flip this switch. We got marker lights on the side or rock lights. So if we're drilling a hole, setting a trap here in the dark, big bright light in the back when we're trailering. If we do carry like a shack with us or a jet sled with a bunch of gear in it, we can see it behind us if we lose something. And then if we pop this open, we got a light inside. Uh, some of those early mornings when we go out and drill a hole and you're sitting next to the sled putting your bait on it's just nice to have that little bit of light these little marker bulbs here worked so good um no complaints at all they light up this whole area i'll put some clips on here and show you guys definitely if you have one of these do that mod it, it's pretty sweet a uh, nice and tall windshield i don't like it for trail riding because i'm a little bit taller and right here it kind of curves and it makes like a distorted view on the trail. I don't like it at all. I always like using lower windshields. So I'll show you what I do when I go trail riding. This is basically ice fishing mode right here. And we pop this off. Put on one or one of two of these. This is like the uh, the low windshield that Skidoo makes. And this is just like a Valance. Thing that they make it's like not really anything but if it's warm out I'll put this on just like that and then I'm ready to go trail riding it really makes it look like a completely different sled looks kind of like a summit until you see the track and how wide it is but I did add these hand guards on here by Skidoo so when we're trail riding just keep stuff off your hands, add a little bit of warmth. I don't know, I thought they looked cool, so I did that. That's how I ride it on the trail. Just take all that stuff off in a matter of seconds, pop on the low windshield, and we're ready to go. So my overall uh, thoughts on this sled are just like, it, it's 
honestly the best sled I've ever owned. I kind of thought that, you know, it'll, it's kind of an overall sled. It'll kind of do this okay, it'll do that okay, but it will do nothing like perfectly. But I was wrong. For me personally, this sled is awesome. This is all I need. Um, it's got all the power you need on the trail to have a ton of fun. It's got uh, all the power and capabilities and storage for all the ice fishing gear that we haul and it'll go anywhere it really will go anywhere and there's a bunch of different accessories you can get for these things if you're doing more like utility ice fishing type type stuff you can get big wraparound bumpers with winches and stuff so if you do get stuck if you're looking at the expedition turbo r uh, definitely i definitely like it i think that's the best choice for me um, i think i would have been happy with the standard turbo as well i just wanted the extra power and i definitely got it um, I don't know if I got too many clips of, you know, really showing that, but I also just love the sounds that the turbo makes. When you put this thing in sport mode and it's nice and warmed up, you can just kind of blip that throttle and you get those turbo noises. It's pretty cool. So I figured I'd make this video for you guys right now. I know there's been a ton of interest in these sleds the last few years. I mean, I went up north and everybody had these things, it seemed like when we were ice fishing. Everybody up there had them. Um, so the popularity is growing with them and I can see why because they just do everything really good. Every time I ride it, I have a smile on my face and uh, I don't regret it whatsoever. This is gonna be a sled that I have for a very long time. And that's kind of one of the reasons why I wanted the four stroke as well, just for the longevity of it. Yeah, that's my Skidoo Expedition Turbo R. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you, I'm sure I missed a bunch of stuff. So if you guys have any questions, leave them down in the comments below and I'll try to answer them for you. Thanks for watching guys. Like, comment, subscribe. We'll catch you in the next video.